Trevor humiliates Meg in his new novel by disclosing a shocking fact, she ss. The startling reality about Prince Harry and Meghan Mull that lies underneath their glitzy persona. The terrible and cruel reality about Meghan's background as revealed by her ex-husband Trevor Anilon threatens to come to light at this table of terror, expectation, and a gathering storm. Though it's still shrouded in secrecy, Meghan Markle's marriage to Trevor represents a significant period in her life. Approximately 18 months were spent in Trevor and Meghan's marriage from 2011 to 2013, during which time he had a film production and management firm. According to rumors, their divorce was brought on by a growing number of irreconcilable disputes. In respect to his ex-wife, Prince Harry, and their subsequent expulsion from the royal family, Trevor has kept mum. Neil Sean, a well-known author for his book The AZ of Harry and Meghan, a bestseller in the Royal series, asserts that Trevor has received multiple approaches from those who want to pay him to expose Meghan's true nature in secret. According to Neil, Trevor's direct knowledge of their marriage provides him a special viewpoint that may be quite helpful to anyone attempting to understand Meghan on a deeper level. It gives people the chills to think that Trevor Angleson may publish a book on his marriage to Meghan or do an interview about it. Meghan wants to revitalize both her internet presence and her professional life. In the event that Trevor decides to speak up, he may face major challenges. Trevor is described by Neil Shaw as a kind and considerate guy who has gone on with his own life, but he adds that Trevor's narrative and its effects on Meghan's reputation and image cannot be disregarded. Trevor's character is further illuminated by Neil Shaw, who calls him a nice and intelligent man. After dating for seven years, Meghan and Trevor got married in Jamaica in 2014. Their romance started in 2004. Meghan's employment in Toronto caused their marriage to start to fall apart, though. Trevor stayed in California, but she spent a lot of time filming there. Meghan filed for divorce without specifying a reason less than two years after their nuptials, even mailing her the wedding ring back by mail. The royal author Tom Bauer previously discussed Trevor's thoughts on Meghan choosing to put her profession ahead of their marriage. He said that she wanted to have a permanent residence in Toronto since other actors would frequently travel to Los Angeles if Trevor opted to tell others about her decision. Neil thinks it could show how vicious, ambitious, and driven Meghan is. He thinks Trevor might set up an explosive response if Trevor explains why he was abandoned. Meghan's goals may be compromised if Trevor decides to divulge the unspoken truth about her background as she prepares to relaunch her lifestyle blog and social media accounts. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, and M. Mark will have received a stern warning over their high-profile Netflix contract once more. The royal couple's contract with the streaming behemoth is set to expire in 2025, but royal expert Richard Fitzwilliam has cautioned that it may be cancelled earlier after its most popular royal series, The Crown, has concluded. There is no question that Spotify's decision to terminate the royal's contract was a blow to the Sussexes, according to the royal specialist, who was quoted by the Daily Express. The last season of The Crown will show in 2025. But after that, their $100 million Netflix deal may become less valuable to the streaming giant. Although the love novel Meet Me at the Lake had brave stories, he continued by saying that the success of their next endeavor will rely in large part on how well they adapt it. Heart of Invictus, Harry's most recent Netflix docuseries, has been the success everyone thought it would be. This is very definitely because it is five hours long.